Praise the Lord. Faith. Say, my grandson, my nephew, my this, my that is not going to hell. I'm going to pray him in. I'm going to believe God for great things. And God answers prayer. We've come this far by faith. Leading on the Lord. Trusting in his holy word. He's never failed me yet. Singing, ho, 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 ho. Can't turn around. We've come this far by faith. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. We've come this far by faith. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. David, getting back to my story, David had been chased by Saul. You see, the devil chases you. He frustrates you. He, he brings situations against you. He turns people against you. He gets into your money. He gets into your family. He gets into your job. He gets into your business. And then he gets into your body and your health. He's frustrating you. But he just doesn't do it. He's getting permission from God to do it. God allows him to do dust and so. You say, why would God allow the devil to mess with my money? Why would God allow the devil to touch my body with sickness? Why? Because God sees in us where we are and knows we're not where we should be. We may think that, God, I'm closer to you, and praise the Lord for it, if that's true. I'm closer to you, God, than I've ever been before. And the Lord will look at your life and say, you know what? They're about three degrees off. I've got to point them back to those right paths. Because those three degrees may not seem like a whole lot right now. But they got some storms coming that if I don't straighten their life out, He's going to destroy them. And so he allows situation in our life to right us back to the path that he has chosen for our life. And it's uncomfortable. It is uncomfortable. It is trying. Your whole life feels like it's falling apart. It's coming unglued. You say, brother, I pray, and the situation gets worse. I haven't received an answer to prayer in so long. I don't know if God hears me. How many today are crying that? I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, but it hasn't come through. God promised Abraham when he was 75 years old that he would have a son. It took 25 years for that promise to come through. 25 years of believing God. And Abraham tried to bring it to pass itself. And you know the situation in Israel right now in the Middle East. We've got Isaac and Ishmael that are battling between one another. The Palestinians and the Jews because of Abraham trying to help God. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. And that waiting is not sitting with your legs crossed and, 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 and you, <laughs> God, they told me to, it's almost over with God. I'm trying to wait, God. Hallelujah. That waiting is just that, with assurance. Whatever he tells me to do, I'll do. But I know God. God has a great track record. God hasn't failed any of us yet. He has not always answered everything we've asked him. He's not come at the time we thought he should come. But he did show up. We are in 2009. How many people didn't make it to 2009? I was, they was telling us this morning about a young lady who, who died. At the stroke of midnight, 
January 1st, when the clock went from 31st of December to the 1st, she died. They rushed her to the hospital, but she was pronounced dead. And she didn't know Jesus as Lord and as Savior. Oh, things have not been the best for us. We've all had our ups and downs. Some of us have got more downs than ups. If the truth be told, every last one of us got difficulties and problems that we're facing. We got challenges in our life. And money does not exempt you from problems. But God has been good to us. He could have left us on the side of the road, but he didn't. He chose to stay with us because faith says that if you believe me, I will come through for you. Faith is not easily understood by us. It's not easily practiced by us. But faith will pull you through. Faith will guide you through. Faith will direct you through. Faith will move mountains. Faith will open doors. Somebody shout faith. Faith, faith will do it. Faith that is anchored in Jesus Christ and him crucified. But the devil will weary you. He will weary you. And, and, and please don't, 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 don't think I'm trying to give the devil any glory. He's a sorry, low down, no count, no good thug. His day of reckoning is soon to come. That much I do know. He's got a little power, that much I do know, but the Lord has given us power and authority over all, somebody shout all, all the powers of the enemy. That means that through what Christ did for us at the cross of Calvary, he's given us victory. He's given us power over everything the devil could bring against us. When storms start coming your way, you need to stand up and say, well, praise the Lord. We'll praise the Lord. We'll praise the Lord. We'll praise the Lord. When they tell you your bills are overdue, say, God, you are my provider. Jehovah Jireh, somehow make a way. When they tell you that you are sick, stand up and say, Jehovah Rebecca, you are my healer. When they tell you that the Lord has left you, stand up and say, El Shaddai, the Lord is my God. He won't leave you. He won't forsake you. Because faith says, David got frustrated. He got weary. And then he started making his own decisions and choices. He said, I'm going to go down to the land of Gath. There's safety down there. There is no safety in this world. None whatsoever. Don't think because you don't tell folks about Jesus Christ that that's going to make you more acceptable to them. God didn't call us to be acceptable to folks. He didn't call us to make folks happy and, and like us. He didn't call us to 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 to, to what, what, make friends, what, win friends and influence people. God didn't call us for that. He called us to be a light and a witness. And we're going to make folks mad. I can't count the number of times that people have looked at me and frowned at me when I said, well, praise the Lord. They just lift their eyebrow like, You see, that's, that's common to do that in church. Oh, folks, uh, you ought to try praising God like this in a supermarket. Oh, people will distance themselves from you. Hallelujah. I just got to tell you, I'm going to move on. Oh, we were, I, was in, I, was in, I was in the store one day, and I was, I was shopping. And uh, I've been battling with the devil about an issue for a long time. And, you know, he got that high-pitched, grindy voice. You ain't gonna make you know that kind of, he, he, you know he wears on you, almost like taking your fingernails on a chalkboard. It just irritates you. And you can't shake it off. And he had been riding my back, and I'd been hallelujah, Lord, praise the Lord. And I was in the store pushing my shopping cart, hallelujah. My basket was full of groceries, and I got to a certain section, the vegetable section. And it was like the Lord told the devil, enough is enough. Leave him alone. 